This is so cute. Hello, we are Lime Garden. Thanks for coming to see us. We played earlier at The Secret, if anyone saw us there. If not, nice to meet you all. This next song is called Marbles. Let's do it. I see it.
much to talk about You're just feeling the situation This next song is called Sick and Tired, and it's about being sick and tired. I'm sick and I'm tired. Back up and wired And I see Through your glasses Well, the symptoms And you will begin to understand it And I keep on Believing that it's gonna be fine Even if I run around In circles and change my mind I keep on Believing that it's gonna be fine Even if I run around In circles and change my mind I'm sick and I'm tired Need to find a way to get back up and wired Find time to take it back in your mind When the corner was yours You didn't have to walk the line and I know I gotta leave it The comfy cave in which I found someone to believe in If I run around in circles and change my mind I keep on believing that it's gonna be fine Even if I run around in circles and change my mind I'm sick and I'm tired Need to find a way to get back up and wired Thank you so much Thanks for coming to see us. This will be the shortest set we've ever done in our lives, I believe. <laughs> this is our last song. And it's called Love Song, so dedicate this one to anyone you love.
Have a great day, everybody. I'm here with Chloe from Lime Garden. Hello. This Thanks was a, for having me. This was, <laughs> this was a, a short but very intense session. Yes. Musically. Mm -hmm. Is it is it hard for you to to just build up in, in just a couple of songs? Like um, I feel like all of our songs are quite intense. Oh yeah, we're quite intense people. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's reflected through our music. Oh, that's good. So I think that just kind of comes out naturally when we play. It's a yeah. good way of getting out all the all the stresses of life. That's good. Yeah. The last couple of days we've had um, lots of bands actually over a couple of bands with uh, female feminist mm -hmm. power really. Cool. Uh, Non-binary. Is this um, could we say that the um, gentle female powers are t finally taking over? Definitely. I mean, we started being in a band when I was about 16, so like about four or five years ago now. And over the last five years, I mean, we used to be the only girls in the dressing rooms, and yeah. now, you know, they're all over the place. So it's great. It's wonderful to see. It's really exciting. That's good. I think so, yeah. Um, there is a lot of... There's some DIY involved also. Yeah. And you guys come from Brighton. Mm -hmm. Is there a big DIY community? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Brighton, Brighton was a great place for us to start out. Um, it's a very welcoming music scene. Uh, and there's a span of sort of every genre of music you could imagine. And everyone's sort of at the top of their game musician wise. And it's just a really inspiring environment to be around. Um, and everyone, you know, starts out at like, playing in, I don't know, house parties or little, <laughs> there's this venue called the Rossi Bar in Brighton, which is oh. like a 50 cap basement. Uh, that's where we had our first ever headline show. And that's kind of, yeah, the DIY scene kind of thrives from there, really. You guys played at the Great Escape as well? Yeah. How was that? That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. This we played at the end of the pier. And then what, what venue did you play? Uh, the, it's called Horatio's. It's like, oh, yeah. a, it's normally a restaurant on the end of the pier. Um, yeah. But it was so busy that we shut it down, which oh, is pretty fun. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Are you currently on tour or are you...? Yeah, I mean, we're doing the festival circuit at the minute. We're in Germany next week and then we've got Glastonbury the week after. So oh, it's a busy, good. busy that's time. Good. It's fun. So you head back home tomorrow? Yeah, back home tomorrow. Um, 
how did how did you guys meet up? I read that you f- via Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this yeah, that's yeah. A, that's um, a modern way of doing it. Yeah, right. I mean, we all met through Facebook, basically trying to find friends to live with when we were um, looking for student housing. Uh, and yeah, me, Annabelle, the drummer, and Layla, the guitarist, met originally. Um, and then we met Tippy sort of a year later. Um, and Tippy couldn't play an instrument at the time, but we <laughs> loved her vibes, so we forced her to play bass with us. <laughs> she, 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 pro- yeah, yep, she did yeah. a good job. She did a good job. She learned it in two and weeks. W- and what were you studying? I studied music production. Okay. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and same with the girls. They all studied music, so yeah, it's pretty good. Did you all have some same musical taste? Same no, vastly no. different actually when we met. No. Um, that was the first like two years of being a band. We basically were going through every, <laughs> getting every form of genre of music out of our systems yes. uh, before we found what we wanted to do. Um, yeah, like we all have completely different tastes from when growing up. There is no common ground there? there I mean, there is now. We, we yeah. kind of, we discovered, like we started going to a lot of gigs in London and discovered the sort of Lond- South London music scene when we were sort of in our late teens and that was the real building ground for us uh, of kind of inspiration that we, we all came together on so yeah oh I, I read somewhere that you found each other in Courtney Burnett and that yeah talking that's has. true that's true that, that yeah 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 music. that was kind of around the same time um, we basically discovered Yeah, we just discovered Courtney Barnett was a really big inspiration lyric wise for us and obviously the talking heads. I don't know, we just we loved the idea of having kind of fun fun aspect to the band, not too serious. Uh so yeah. Talking heads, that must be the music that you found in the record collection of your yeah. father. Probably. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's, that's the way yeah, it yeah. <laughs> it was a I'd never, it's actually interesting, I, my family were never really big on the talking heads growing up, but um, I discovered them a little bit later in my life, but they just lit this fire within us all, I think, so. Would you consider Lime Garden to be a uh, democracy? Yeah, 100%, oh, yes? yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, every decision we make, we put it to a vote, so uh, we're okay. very, very on it with that. <laughs> Is that but but I heard the other musicians say that it's, not good to be a democracy that somebody has to take the lead and that yeah i guess i mean we all have different strengths you know right. like for example annabelle is wonderful at admin and i am i like sort of a grandma when it comes to computers and technology and right. stuff so i'm never trusted with the sort of business side of things um so it's things like that you know we all have different strengths and we know what our strengths are now so it all balances out nicely and how does the songwriting process uh come about very similarly um we actually we used to just write in a like a a bedroom when we were younger and then covid hit and we were sort of spread across the uk um for months like four months and we started writing uh using logic and sending each other files from a daw and that's kind of how we've written ever since really so like it could start with annabelle would make a bass line and then she'd send it on to me to make a top line and layla would add some bits and then tippy would it's kind of like a building a cake sort But of those thing. those were all melodic ideas. Kind of. I mean, yeah, it, it just honestly just depends on the song and the day. We're all very, uh, we all do whatever. It feels right for the song, so yeah. But it could also be a lyrical idea. It could also yeah, be yeah. something you read, something you see, something you hear. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've never been, I wish I could say I was one of these cool people that I was walking down the street and a It just came to me, man. It just came a bit like that. It's not me, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and it actually takes a lot of hard, hard work to to get songs. And but it's kind of like a therapy, you know, sitting down and really thinking about it. It's it's cool. The the man who's living in your hometown, uh, Nick Cave, said the same thing about creativity. It's yeah. hard work. It's hard labor. It is. It is. I think people don't necessarily. Uh, they think they look at the glamour of it all, yeah. and actually. Most of the time, we you know we work really really hard, and obviously we get to have a, a shit ton of fun as well. But, That's um, true. <laughs> but yeah, so but it is hard work. Um, there is no album. There there, there will be an album. Yes. I think I'm allowed to say. Yeah. Why of not? Course, of yeah. course you are. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. You guys won't tell anyone, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's an album coming out. We just finished recording it actually. Gee. So yeah, it's really exciting. And uh, I, I you will be playing those songs also? Absolutely, You did, yes. you did this afternoon? Um, not here, no, no, we didn't. Actually, we did. Ignore me. Love Song is uh, going to be on the album. Uh, but okay. the rest aren't. So, yeah. 
Okay. So, um, hopefully you will be back here in the Netherlands soon. Definitely. We love the Netherlands. Yeah, you do. You're such wonderful people. It's uh, You're so happy and nice. It's very different from home. It's oh. lovely. I think that's the best way to stop the interview <laughs> right now. That Sounds good. It's been great talking to you. <laughs> Thanks so Thank much, you. man. <laughs> Cheers. Tired.